81, 82. I mean, there's iron around, but... And you can't find it? And I can't find it. Oh. There's definitely a cavity inside. No jiggling, wiggling? No. Well, we'll just have to wait and bring big shovels and yeah. open this whole thing up. So about 18 to where it's collapsed back in. Right, because I had my 18 inch shovel, the handle was right. well far enough submerged. So I was thinking about this last night. This doesn't match any of the bricks no. that we found. This is a an on-site, more than likely, hand-shaped brick. And, it, you know, of course, it's irregular. Uh, it reminds me of what would go, like, over an arch for, like, a stove or something. Oh, yeah, it could... That's just what a reminder of. Could do, yeah. But that feels like it's got more age than what, what what's on site here. All right, slay some root. If you wonder. <laughs> So there's bricks down there too. Wow, that's odd. Yeah. Okay, so oh, there's the there's the edge of whatever this is. Do you get the damage running? Yeah. Just just out of curiosity to see how how deep brick is down, because it just shouldn't be naturally submerging like that. Yeah, 20, 21 inches. Mystery deepens. Yeah, that's definitely um, not normal. I think it cuts in here. So we take this thing out. Yeah. Um, I wonder if they had a privy pit here it, but there's no dark and you know like that rich super dark that's in the hard hard pan that is the thought too hmm there's no indication of like oh, you know refill of topsoil there iron stained rock Huh? That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, glass. Window glass. It's white glass, too. Yeah. It's not even aqua. Yeah. Mm. And checking in with the Wainos. Yeah. They had a crazy signal bouncing from 40s to 60s. So I'm guessing it was on its side. Nice. nice. Iron spoon. You're in the file pile zone, too. Yeah. There's a lot of activity, you could say, in this area. <laughs> but uh, it's just one of those signals where I had to know what it was. Good. Well, we're working on no having to have to know what it is. Yeah. So. That sounds like a career. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, man. That. Did you just clean out, like, a handle-type shape? Am I seeing things? I think it's a busted type shape. You know, broken bean pot. And what is that? More brick? More brick. Oh yeah, this is... I don't want to say intentionally buried, but this stuff did not submerge on its own. No, and when people <clears throat> toss bean pot and other 
crap out in the backyard, you know, six, eight inches deep. Right. And again, what makes it peculiar is we are right behind the house. Yeah. So it's not like it was out in the yard where they had a pit. Right. Decided to just this is fill it and bury it. 40 feet from the back threshold. I'm looking at the back threshold stone. Yeah. We may be on the edge of this thing. That target may be just what brought us into it. Right. Okay, so there's the thing. One thing's for certain, we never would have gotten that out. We might still not get it out, but we wouldn't have with the little, I, you know, looking glass plug. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these are, these are definitely more crude bricks than anything Extremely else. Extremely crude. Well. We're still on colonial settled ground. Yep. The same family has owned this for 250 years. What's what's kind of odd is there's no pottery. There's a one piece of glass, but normally when you go a pit in somebody's yard, just random, mm. you'll find sherds. Well, that's not the shape I was expecting. It's not round. No, it's ovular. And there's more bricks. That is a different kind of stone. Very smooth. Almost a river stone. Then I had the thought of uh, an oven, you know, where he may have dug down to have a... Oh, yeah. But there's no ash. Yeah, there's no ash. There's seriously no discoloration in the soil at all. Wow. This looks like it was a, a one-time dig. It's just crazy. There's so many bricks down here. You got metal? Mm -hmm. and we're starting to see that to the north side here is a whole lot more brick. We might have to open up this. Oh, it's, it's extending that way too. Huh. Look at that. Yeah. And you said, when we started, uh, maybe, maybe it's a shovel. Maybe it's a shovel. Right. But realistically, we don't care what it is. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of getting it out to see what it is. It's just opening this up. I mean, why? And it's led us to this whole layer of brick that's 20 inches deep. That is just not right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, submerged that deep, there could still be wood on that handle. <laughs> it could be. Oh, that's got a cast edge to it. Oh, yeah. Movement.
Yeah, that's a shovel. Wayne, are you ready for the unveiling? It might be attached to wood. Oh yeah, I feel wood in there. Oh yeah, look. There's definitely wood in there. Wow. It's charred. There's one hand-shaped shovel. <sighs> wow. Ah, granite. And well, now that we got that out, we're down that deep, we can crack this part open and where the uh, bricks are and stuff. That is insane. Another smooth black river stone. Wow, that's heavy. Oh yeah. Somebody hammered that thing into shape. Must have been fun with a full load of dirt on that thing, huh? Right. Let me see if I can pull a scoop out. That. Mm, some other iron thing. Looks like uh, it goes in. Yeah, that's connected. That's iron too? Yeah. There's a lot more brick running that way. Yeah. I think we need to open this if we yep. want to keep going. I would expect that if this was a privy or a brick line, something, that there'd be a continuation. There'd be some type of uniformity. Yeah. That's got a barrel feel to it. Barrel? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. How good, nice iron that is. It's a tube. It's a tube. What the hell's going on here? Wow. That ain't moving. Nope. I say, I say we open it. I All right. Say we cut a square. All right. We come over a couple feet because who knows what else is in there. That's a lot of brick and stuff over here, but we'll just, I don't know. All right, yeah, that's the only thing we can do. I guess that helps a little. <laughs> Let me see if I can just make a... Pottery there. You saw pottery? Under your foot. Oh. Oh, like a crock top. Nice. Yeah, very cool. Another shovel. Oh, that's some, some glass. But see, it's not, it's not old window glass, it's clear. Where is it? Oh yeah. Oh no, it is aqua, I'm sorry. Just a slight tinge of aqua.
So how are you doing while we're doing? Yeah, well, fighting with all of this to pull out that pretty old rusty hinge. Nice. Yep, definitely. Pretty crusty, but definitely a hinge. Yep. At least it's identifiable. Right. Man, those are old. Oh, there's a lot more brick. But if it was a trash pit, there'd be trash in it. <laughs> right. <laughs> and there ain't. Uh, well, that's a shape of a different shape. It's got a T piece going down. What do they call those hay rakes? Pitchfork. Pitchfork. Hmm. I don't think so. I don't think that's what it is. Freaking anchor. hole it's all tube that's weird just glass in it mm -hmm. and it's uh, very thin it's got that warbly to it well I just looked it up quickly to see out of curiosity mm-hmm the patent for metal extrusion was 1797. Really? That early, huh? Lead pipe was the first. Wow. So it does have the potential of being older than I was initially thinking. It's under brick. Right. It does look like bike frame tubing. It does. Well, that's going to rewrite what we've been thinking all along about this place. But it's, it's all under this brick. I just found a heel. So, something else besides brick and tubing. I mean, if they dug, somebody dug this around 1900 or something, it seems like, because they'd be breaking the topsoil that had been loaded with shit, right? that it would be in the hole. I think it's a bicycle. I think it's a bicycle too. 1800's bicycle. Yeah. And from what we know, 1820's on, even if this was 1860s, 70s, mm. maybe, it's still odd because that house was already standing and they would have had to go out of their way to do this. Right. Why wouldn't you just take it out to the last wall and dump it? Two tubes. Yeah, it's just, it's so thin. Yeah, it's not like it's a sewing machine. That would have been full on cast iron. Right. Wow. It's actually liquid in there coming out. <laughs> yeah. Another big piece. Yeah, see, to me, that just screams like seat stays or chain stays. Wow. There, it's moved. 
Nice. I'm here, but it's a shorter distance for me. But nothing else. No coins? Nothing? <laughs> hey, I told you there was going to be a pitchfork in here. <laughs> How bizarre, how bizarre. Barrel stave or uh, strap? Yeah, maybe. No differentness. That. Looks like 1800s glass. Yep. Yeah, it's like this nut just buried stuff behind the house. It's going deeper, Dame. Oh, yeah, much deeper. Huh, it's soft. Oh, I can tell there's a difference. All right, we are getting into more things. Oh, yeah, nice. Well, that's a hunk. And it's like, yeah, we're thinking conclusion, bicycle, tools, bricks, pull, you know, cover it up but we're getting deeper now we're finding shards mm. yeah I don't know what to think of it a little bit of movement here oh it's another Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's a, it's something stuck to a pitchfork. A pitchfork. So there's this flat stock that runs in that way. Yeah, there's the pitchfork. I told you there were pitchforks in here. <laughs> right, that's a hell of a rake. Yeah. Jeez. Hey, mine had rock stuck to it too. <laughs> That is a huge rock. I mean, I see a couple hundred pounds of it just with what's exposed. There it is. That is a wheel rim. It is. It is absolutely. It's rounded and everything. Huh. Let's tune on to Wayno's for a few minutes. Since he's been scouring the upper levels. Lid. Lead. Yep. Chunk of lid. Well, we have no conclusion to why or what. I think we've just actually started. We've been sitting here talking the possibility of theory of there was a colonial here. The cellar hole we're always working and speaking of is 1800s because the bricks are very old and it seems like fill-in, which some of you right, might remember, Guru's cellar hole had a lot of fill-in and that thing was completely concealed under the ground. Yep. Where I'm sitting is a very flat stone that's been shaped and I can only see 20 by 
pen of it, but it's cornered off. It, it looks like a threshold stone or a hearth stone, and that's where all the brick has been coming from. And then there might be a big line of rocks here underneath. Yeah, there's an extremely large rock right here, and it's in position you know, if this is a hearth stone or a threshold stone, it's interior, so it's probably a threshold stone, if it is that. But there would be a line going that way, and then cornering off somewhere behind me. Right, because where we're standing is a clearly defined square. It, it looks like a footprint, somewhat groomed, somewhat flat. And it's completely possible of a home site here a hundred years before that guy. We're just going to have to uh, let it breathe and get back to it at another time. Crazy, huh? Yeah. It all started with a 81 I couldn't <laughs> find. <laughs> we kind of, found, kind of found it. Yeah, kind of found it. All right. Good job.